Hello, I'm Dan, Christina, behind the camera. For those of you who don't know us, we are from Weekends Room Rome, Instagram, YouTube, and recently my wife and I started a shop called Rome Overland Vehicles, where we convert camper van, or we convert sprinter vans and other vans into campers, and now we're starting to work on other vehicles. And that's what this video is, showing you our new project. Hi. Hi. We're gonna see if we can start this thing. Okay, clutch. <laughs> the Germans are coming. <laughs> <laughs> We picked up this Unimog from George Bull at the Unimog Center out in New Hampshire after many, many, many months of looking. Um, it is now November and we have been looking since February to try to find the right one. So George had a couple of them and we actually know some people through social media that has bought a, a Unimog from him. So he came highly recommended from multiple sources. So this one is a 1990 U1300L. This one was actually made by or made for the German military in 1990 and then in 2000 it was sent to the UN and they converted a bunch of these into ambulances and they were supposed to go over to Africa for the Ebola outbreak. Um, but from what I can find it sounds like it never actually made it to Africa. It sounds like they kind of got it under wraps and this sat for a while, so George got his hands on them. A couple of them. I'll show you the inside. So to give you an idea of how tall this thing is, I am six foot one. The window is probably six three, six four. So that kind of gives you a scale of how big it actually is. What are you, five five? Yeah, and I can't even. <laughs> <laughs> and the tires, those are, I think, 41 inch tires. We're actually going to get a little bit bigger. We're going to do 43s, I think, maybe even up to a 46. Um, so that kind of gives you an idea. 
but we'll crawl up there. So a couple steps. They have a grab handle there. I went up and down this thing probably 20 times yesterday, removing the lights that were up there. I feel like a mountain climber. As it's warming up, there'll be a little bit of smoke out of the exhaust, but then it cleans right up. All right, driving a Unimog is pretty much like driving any other vehicle. You got your eight speed manual transmission, forward reverse which is not on the actual gear shifter you get all gears in reverse as well parking brake everything is, is air over hydraulic it's a little bumpy and now you would go forward Getting down to my uh, code thing is a little low down there. I feel like pictures and videos just don't do justice on how big this thing is. This thing's an absolute tank. It's made to drive the world, and that's what we're gonna do with it one day. Heading down. Driving this thing is way different than any other thing I've ever driven. It is all or nothing with the throttle. It's a turbo diesel. Sounds like an old bus. And you just basically just floor it every single time, which is crazy. Starbucks runs are going to look a little different going forward. Yeah, they are. Man, the steering wheel is so huge too. But it drives really nimbly, which is really crazy. The uh, turning radius, from what I've read, is better than a Jeep. So, this thing being the wheelbase that it is, and the, the steering box I was looking at yesterday, massive. This thing is so beefy. I'm going to do more videos, big full video on it. We got to switch out the tires. The tires barely have any miles on them, but they're old, so we're going to get some new ones here soon. She likes the cruise frontage roads. Okay, while we wait for Christina to get our coffee, I'll give you a quick rundown. Levers and gears battery disconnect, parking brake, which is an air parking brake, so you have to wait till it builds air pressure, and then it'll actually click in. Forward reverse, you can see the, the arrow going forward for down, reverses up. There's no indicator anywhere, so you have to be really careful on what gear you're in. That is actually an ether pump. There's a little tiny bottle about that big that you can put ether in here, so cold weather, you can actually pump ether into the motor. This is actually how you stop the motor, and you can adjust the idle with this eight speed manual transmission. Ashtray. 
gear indicator, one through eight. This is all the controls for the heater. Eventually we're gonna add air conditioner, or air conditioning to this. Um, there was a switch here that was for the blue lights on top, which illegal to have, so we had to get rid of those. The key, which it's crazy, the whole motor can still be running, even without the key on. That's the two-wheel drive. That is four-wheel drive. And that is four-wheel drive with dual lockers. Let's go. I'm pretty sure this angle is your headlights if you're towing something. Um, I haven't quite figured that part out. Windshield washer fluid. This is, what was that? I don't remember. Headlights, oil pressure, fuel, temperature. That's the air pressure. There's a air compressor under the hood. Um, this is air over hydraulic for a lot of the stuff. So there's air accessory port, plug in your accessories. Dimmer for the whole dash. RPMs. Clock in the middle, which I still need to adjust that. Your speedometer, which is in kilometers. That opens up for easy adjustment. Oh yeah, this. So you have two ways. You can fold it down and see it just barely going through, or you can fold it down all the way and block out almost all the lights except for these little tiny holes. Those little holes will show it through. Glove box, it's got a reading light. The gunner's turret, that is awesome to drive with it open. We got these, which are crazy too. You block half the freaking thing. some of Mercedes fine German engineering. Those steps come out automatically. Look at that. Look at this. What? They retract automatically. Alright, I'll give you a tour of the back right now. It's all ambulance stuff back there. What we plan on doing eventually well, I should say what we plan on doing in the short term is rip all of this out and make a temporary habitat out of this. It's only five foot nine in the back, so it's a little short right now for what I want. Um, but what we're gonna do eventually is do a composite back, total composites or box manufacture, or possibly make our own. Um, there's a really good YouTube channel called Everlanders. He did a full aluminum skeleton with the honeycomb composite materials for the walls to insulate it. It was really nice, I like it. So, I'll give you a tour back here. As you can see, this was made as an ambulance back. There's four spots for gurneys. This thing can be configured in multiple different ways. Crazy Germans. So, this one's configured now with a seat with a back rest and then a headrest, that's what all this foam is, or all this padding. There is spots for three seat belts back here on this bench, one back there with that one, and then this one's configured with a gurney spot. There's also a second gurney on top of each one of these that can fold down so this thing could hold four gurneys. Um, these things come out pretty... I wish that there was such a thing as smell-o-vision so everybody watching this knows it smells like your grandpa's garage. It 
It smells like a museum is what it smells like. You walk into a museum, that's what this smells like. I mean, everything looks, I mean, it's been, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how much it's been used. This thing only has 30,000 miles on it. So um, all of this, we will be ripping out. So. So, give you an idea, I'm 6'2", 6'1", and I can't stand up in here, but there are hatches you can open up. There's one here, and one here. Hi, on this episode of Coffee in the Back of a Unimog. So give you a feel for what's in here. The roof is angled. Yeah, this thing needs a full gut. So we're gonna gut it all. But this stuff is so well built, so well over engineered, it's nuts. The seat, fully adjustable. This is the cabinet um, with the heater. There's an e-spar heater under here, uh, which is massive. I think the heaters that I use in the sprinters are 4 kilowatt, 4KW. This one's 30, <laughs> so this one is huge. Cabinets. You just realized there's wheel wells in here. Yeah, a little bit. They're like baby wheel wells. Just talking about those. Strapping for everything. I mean, everything looks old but it doesn't look very well used windows hey wait this thing slides open and closed huh that window opens too cabinetry yeah so unimog got a couple special features on it one is this Passenger seat folds up and out so you can get some stuff back here. But watch this. This is crazy. I found this yesterday. This folds down. This folds out. Goes into there. Locks right there. And the reason why it locks right there is because of this. It's a sunroof. Well, so did it now for us. The gunner cut. Switch. <laughs> In itself is wild because it locks open. I don't know how well you can hear me, but yeah. how Christina's gonna have to clean the windows when we're driving down the road. What do you say, bud? The view from up here is amazing. This is wild. 